Hey everyone, in this video, we'll be learning about the label control in our .NET MAUI project. So basically, we'll be using one plugin that is CSAP markup extension that is uh, there in our .NET MAUI project using the community toolkit. And uh, we'll be using the pure CSAP in order to integrate this label control. So let's get started with a new .NET MAUI project for our beginners session. If you have different type of UI where uh, it is going to tell you only CSAP, then you might select the CSAP template for whenever you are creating the new project. So here we don't have as of now the uh, .NET MAUI CSAP only template, uh, but in future I think the, the .NET MAUI team is going to integrate it. So as of now I have a blank uh, .NET MAUI application and uh, it has some very basic UI controls you can see like this okay and here uh, this is basically our .NET MAUI uh, project and here the application gets started with our main page calls new app cell so that means our app cell is going to be called for the very first time whenever our application loads so this application cell is something which encapsulates all the uis inside it that means now the main page is going to get encapsulated to the cell and then our application gets started with uh, the main page equals new app cell that means my app cell is going to be started at first and then which encapsulate our main page as a ui here we have jamal uis now it's time for us to create a new item in our project where we'll be only using csap in order to create the whole ui so right now i'll select the dotnet maui content page which is a csap type and i'll just give the name of the page as my new page.cs so you can see over here i have selected that and now we get our press new csap ui and uh, here you can see I have app.jaml.cs and we can directly tell that our application to start with my new page that is this UI directly or else we can encapsulate our app cell with the my new page.cs. So in order to do that we are going to tell that application please start from app cell this is the name space which is going to take all the uis that is the project name you can see inside that project inside the local we have directly exposed our my new page.cs that is our ui if you have added one folder and then a new uh, ui that is my new page then you will just write the folder name dot my new page.cs now here you can see we have a new stack layout and uh, it has a children and uh, this stack layout has a new label and whose text is uh, something like this that is welcome to dotnet maui and i love it so this uh, label is a control which is added to the stack layout children that means we are going to take this label as a child and then put it inside the stack layout which is our parent it encapsulate all the children views to itself and then show it in our any of the running devices so here i have selected windows machine as my startup machine and we'll just see and visualize whether we are going to get our first level children inside our stack layout and to be shown uh, in our mobile view so here you can see uh, this is the windows view anyway so here we get our first level printed in the ui screen that is welcome to dotnet bawai and i love it so this is just basically the windows screen which is showing the level control as a children inside one of the stack layout so we'll be learning about more uh, regarding the layout in our next upcoming videos so as of now just understand this is just a parent which holds the children views that uh, view is our level control let me close this uh, whole project and now in order to write the ui using csap we are going to install one plugin by going to nuket package where we'll be searching for community maui so this plugin will help us to write whole ui by a csap code in a really easy way so we'll be installing it in our application if you are getting this readme.txt then it is well and good and we'll be just copying this line of code that is line number 15 that is builder.use my app 
app and then use my community toolkit markup so this method is going to be copied and pasted inside our my program.cs let's go to the my program.cs so here i'll just paste it and here if i right click on it then uh, inside quick action as well as uh, refactoring here i'll be presented with uh, using community toolkit dot markup namespace so that's all we have successfully integrated our uh, the extension that is our dotnet my toolkit plugin and now it's time for writing the c sharp logic so let's go to our ui that is our my new page dot cs by removing all the tabs i really don't want all the tabs here you can see now we have uh, one control that i have already explained about that is our level control and which is in encapsulated inside our stack layout so i will set my android emulator as my startup device and then i will be writing now code for our level control the first property is text property and here you can see i have uh, added a text property outside the label control with a method and uh, here i can right click on it quick action as well as refactoring and then this is the way how dotnet maui markup works and uh, here i can take that whole text and then put it inside uh, the double quotes and i can remove it from here that means we are now going to tell that label your text is dot text and then we are going to give that label with dot text property and our next property name is font and then inside the uh, parenthesis we are going to uh, give either the font family you can see before you are going to use any of the property here you can see we have different type of properties to be added inside the fonts too so you have to watch out what is the properties that you are using if it is font family just type font family or the size and then uh, or the uh, anything that you really require and here you can see the font size i have just give it as 20 and uh, here uh, it is going to tell me that if the font of that whole text is bold or not you can tell that italic equals to true to or uh, regular equals true to over here and uh, that's really nice right so that is uh, what our dot net my community toolkit dot markup uh, gives us and here the text color we can just tell that what color we can use and here inside colors dot uh, we can just use that colors dot and then give the color or else we can just use color and without s and then you can use any type of uh, argb colors too and use some hex codes in uh, inside that so let's run this uh, basic label control inside our stack layout and let's try to run it inside our uh, android uh, emulators let's wait for some time till our application loads and gives us valuable output all right so you can see here we got our label control and which is a corn flower blue color and which size is uh, 20 it is bold nice so if you are playing around with uh, other complex properties of label then uh, you need to follow up with this video so that uh, you'll get a clear idea of what is going to be done so here we are going to create some uh, the middle truncation that means we are going to hide the middle text and then we'll just show the user with the first text as well as the last text in order to do that we are going to use some middle truncation properties so in order to do that inside the label here you can see there are two curly braces and here if you just put as uh, uh, the line break mode that is a new property and then here you can't fetch the attributes inside the land line break mode so in order to fetch any of the uh, internal properties of label then uh, we'll just use it inside these uh, two curly braces of the label telling that okay label i have a new property that is embedded inside you that is a line break mode and we just want to disqualify the middle text and then uh, we just want to show you the first text as well as the last text of the whole label so in order to do that we'll just use this middle truncation property i'll just put that thing uh, to side so that we'll just see side by side and rerun this whole project 
all right so i'm just uh, rerunning this whole application and let's wait for some time here you can see our application is uh, running and you can see the whole text has been middle truncated that's looking nice now our next work is to play around with another properties to put that comma and then uh, hit enter so that we go to the next line and now i'll just put that space over here and then we'll just go up to that line and then start writing another property so we are going to introduce another property that is character spacing and here if we put character spacing as 5 and i just want you to play around with all those properties and here i'll just use another property name as text decoration and these are some internal properties which uh, right now is not achievable from outside uh, the level uh, how we have used for text font as well as text color now here we can see we have uh, uh, to use another property that is our text transform and here i'll just make that whole text to a lower lower case you can just play around with those uh, text transform properties of your own here you have to understand vertical text alignment and here i am taking that whole label text alignment as center that means this label will be put in the center of that stack layout and inside that same stack layout horizontal text alignment of that label would be centered that means here the output will look less like this here the character spacing would be 5 and it looks really horrible right so anyway i'll just put that character st spacing to 2 and here the label is at centered position of stack layout that's why uh, you won't see any difference and if you want to take that whole label to center then you have to take that whole parent that is our stack layout as a parent to the centered position so that whole label will be aligned to center of the screen so here uh, vertical option equals then layout option equals layout option dot center that's all now we are going to take that whole parent to the center of the screen and this parent has a label which is aligned centered to that whole parent so let's run the application back again now this results look really awesome we have already put that underlined text you can see and then along with that uh, the middle truncation and uh, all the character spacing that is two so that's all for this tutorial now i really recommend you to play more against this uh, label control and let me know where you have uh, found any type of issues so that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials